Hey folks, welcome to my next video. Van Camp and Woody here, my little buddy Nebo. Well, today is a special day in my life. Uh, 33 years ago this morning at 514, when she's done got her phone call already, like uh, I do every year. Um, my daughter turned 33. And um, she has helped me. Uh, you know, through some tough times since uh, her mom's been uh, has passed, and um, she, uh, you know, um, I've done my birthday uh, celebration with her, or her birthday celebration, and um, you know, got uh, talking with her and everything. She sees the struggle that I've had this year uh, with my medical issues, uh, been in the hospital. Gave birth to another uh, two more kidney stones, not one but two, and um, and then the issues with my knees and my feet. I had to go back get shots in them twice, and then van issues and everything. But it's on her heart. For her birthday, she wanted to do a GoFundMe to help me out and help manage whatever comes in uh, for me to get another van. You know, and that kind of touched me when she said that. And uh, so if we reach the goal, I've already got the vans look that I've been looking at. I've even started leaning towards the short buses. Some of them have handicapped lifts, some of them don't. So that's where I'm kind of weighing myself for that. But um, I'll put the link to the uh, GoFundMe uh, in the uh, video description. And uh, I believe she said she's going to post it on my Facebook page. So uh, uh, I appreciate everything, all donations, you know, uh, helping out with the fund. Um, it's uh, it's been a struggle this year for me. The van, my minivan here, uh, when I got it, it had eighty-seven thousand miles on it, uh, and now it's got three hundred thirty-five thousand miles on it, and still ticking. I believe I could get another thirty, forty thousand out of it, but this starting to uh, little things is starting to, you know, just eat away at my at my uh, savings on that I had, you know. So my my uh, safety net's kind of gone there. And then I didn't take care of Nebo last month when he hurt himself, you know. And um, you know, and then like I said, the medical bills that are are starting to come back in. Um, I'm okay now. Um, I'm just like I said, struggling and uh, uh, for her to do that. You know, uh, I'm kind of honored that she, uh, uh, she's going to maintain the fund me fund. Uh, and uh, when we get what we get, then um, I'll do a reveal or uh, when I get the van, I decide. Uh, I'm leaning towards the conversion vans now. Cargo vans are still a bit too expensive for the miles that are on them. And I'm just not comfortable. Uh, I really don't want to finance anything again. I want to be paid out right like I have been all along. Uh, when I started this uh, this journey seven years ago, uh, I was still making payments on Sadie. And, uh, you know, once I paid her off, everything started breaking down. Transmission had to be replaced. I've had to replace the radiator. You know, just wear and tear on something that's got over, you know, 100,000 miles on it. You know, and uh, fortunately, you know, to know where I can go to get my repairs, uh, how to go about doing that. I've told you all before about uh, SEMA leasing. Um uh, for my repairs and um you know i'm gonna do it right this time and because of the money i lost from the ripoff of the van that I, it was a year ago that i uh that i had purchased and uh it just it was just a whack job like i really got you know um i took uh got uh, taken advantage of this guy was a mechanic and he worked on safety for me so i trusted him and uh, i trusted him right out of my uh account and uh you know he took me for what he took me and then lied to my face and friends that uh he's supposed to be friends with too and uh you know so but um i appreciate any help you know i know everybody's struggling you know and uh you know and uh, i hope to be able to return the favor and return someday i appreciate the ones who have sent uh donations in to me over the over the years it's, you know uh I'll go check. I don't make no money because I'm not monetized on YouTube. But um, I appreciate what y'all do. 
I don't know what y'all can do. Uh, I appreciate all the words of encouragement over over the time that I've been out here, me and Nebo. And uh, I've made some pretty good friends. And, uh, you know, I've camped with some pretty good people. They know how I like things. I like quiet. And, you know, uh, I don't go for the drug scene and the alcohol scene. I'm just, uh, I, I, I take on this, uh, you know, sober. And uh, that's the only way that I can enjoy it. September is a hard month because it's uh, losing my wife and then my daughter's birthday. And there's just the rest of the year is going to be hard uh, emotionally for me. And that's why I'm trying to get things worked out where I can be somewhere. I have people ready to help me build out. You know, and I've already got stuff to go in the van that I had for the van that I got ripped off on. So, you know, it's all brand new waiting on me in Mississippi. Uh, one of my subscribers places down there that's uh, give me a place to come down to. You know, uh, late fall, and um, you know, so uh, hopefully I can do what I can do while the money's, you know, the funds getting built up, and go ahead and complete the year out in Sadie, and then, uh, you know, like I said, once I decide I'm gonna get, I will do a reveal to y'all, and uh, uh, hopefully the people that's gonna help me do the build out on it when it comes time to do what I'm gonna do to it, uh, they'll allow to be on camera too. And uh, we'll go about our business. So uh, once I get the link from, from my daughter, uh, I'll add it into the description of the video. And, um, you know, for now, y'all stay safe, stay healthy. There's more to come. Uh, I spent a month and a half on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And, uh, you know, uh, some of my favorite places that I do, stargazing. <laughs> stargazing at night and then hanging out in the picnic areas in the daytime. That's how I do it. That's how I go about it, you know, because there is no camping allowed on the parkway unless you're going to stay in the paid camps, you know, so, but uh, it's here at the end of September. Fall's coming. Some of the colors are coming in, but October is when it's going to burst, and uh, uh, I really <clears throat> try to go to the places where there ain't very many people because it's going to, Blue Ridge Parkway will be crowded October because of the fall colors, and um, so, we said, y'all stay safe, stay healthy, keep smiling, treat one another like you want to be treated yourself. We'll catch you on the other side.